Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, let us take a look into state object and set state method in a class components. Well, the state is an inbuilt object in a React class components. In a state object, we can store property values that belong to that particular class component. When the state object changes, the class component re-renders. We use set state method to change the state object in a class component. Well, notice here we are talking about the class components, not the functional components. All right. So we can use state inbuilt object in only class components, not in the functional components. All right. Well, let us understand about state object and set state methods with an example. So let's go to VS Code IDE over here. And here let's create a new file. So go to components folder. Within that, let's create a new file. Let's call it as employee.js. Next, within employee.js file, let us create a class component. So before that, let's first import React from React library. All right. Next, let us type class. Let us give component name as employee. So this employee component should extends React dot component. Okay. Perfect. Next, here let us have a constructor. This constructor takes props as a parameter and then let us have a super and then pass these props to the super class constructor. Next within a constructor let us specify the state object. So here just type this dot state and notice here whenever we create the react class component then this state inbuilt object is immediately available. Okay, next let us choose state over here and then within a state inbuilt object we can define the property and its values for example here let us say post name as a property and value as a ramesh all right perfect next let us say how to access this state object and its property is in a jsx code so after this constructor let us have a render method and then let us have a return statement and then parenthesis and then let us have a due perfect so within a due let's have a h1 element and let's give heading something like employee details next let us have a paragraph element next we want to access the state object property that is first name right so here is a syntax within a curly braces this dot state dot first name so this is the syntax to access the state object property all right perfect next in order to use this employee component in an app component we should have to export this component right so here let us use default export to export this employee class component so just type export default and then employee perfect now we have used default export to export this employee class component next let us use this employee class component in an app component so go to app.js file over here and let me expand this and here let me comment out this student and here let us use employee component so just type employee and hit enter and just close it and make sure that this employee component is imported at the top next just save this file and if, if you take a look at the browser, you can see Ramesh employee detail is printed over here. And if you go to employee component, you can see we have accessed this first name property from the state object. So this is how we can access the property from the state object. Next, we can have as many as properties and its values in a state object. For example, here, let us have a last name property and its value let us say further and we can access this last name property from the state object using the same syntax so here let us have a paragraph element and then within curly braces this dot state dot last name and if you save this file and if you take a look at the browser the further is displayed over here similarly let us also have an email property and then ramesh at the rate gmail.com and let us access this email property from the state object over here so let us have a paragraph element within a curly braces 
this dot state dot email save the file and if you take a look at the browser the email is displayed okay so this is how we can use inbuilt state object in a class component to define the property and its values next in order to access the state object we can use the syntax this dot state dot property name all right perfect next let us see how to update this state object using set state method so here first of all let's create one method let us say update employee and then within the update employee method let us use set state method to update the state object so here set state and then within a curly braces first name so let us update from Ramesh to Ram and also update the last name from Padathari to Jadav and also update the email ram at the rate gmail.com next let us have a button and whenever user click on that button then this update employee method will get called so here go to do and after that let us have a button over here next let us give name to the button let us say update employee next let us attach the event handler to this button for that let us use on click attribute well this is a class component so we have to you know call the event handler using arrow function so within curly braces just have a arrow function over here in order to call the event handler just add this dot the event handler name update employee and then parenthesis next save this file and if you take a look at the browser update employee button is visible next let us refresh this and go ahead and click on update employee button over here and there we go the employee details successfully updated from ramesh to ram for the to jado ramesh at the rate gmail.com to ram at the rate gmail.com so notice here the code once user click on this update employee button then this update employee event handler will get called and within this update employee event handler we have used set state method to update the state object okay so just remember class component has an inbuilt state object so within this state object we can define the properties and in order to access the inbuilt state object we can use the syntax like this dot state dot property name and in order to update the state object we use set state method like this so this is all about state object and set state method all right get i will see you in the next lecture